Hello beautiful souls and welcome my Taurus friends and Taurus cross watchers to the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot. I'm Zachary. Thank you for joining me here this week and welcome to my table. So this is going to be your weekly read. Also timeless message. All these are timeless messages you guys. If anything is drawing you into any of these videos I highly encourage you to take a look. None of these are surface level at all <laughs> um, and there's a lot of information in, in all of them. So November 20th through the 26th is what we're looking at here. This is the week of Thanksgiving, 23rd here in the States. So in light of that, which I prefer to call Indigenous People Day, I know that there is already an Indigenous People People's Day, but that feels like the original one to me. So <clears throat> in light of that, I am adding a component to the reading for gratitude specific, what to focus on to magnify the gratitude for you in this time. And I did remove a couple other portions. You'll see some differences if you've been here for a while. But um, either way, like we'll, we'll get the message you need, okay? No worries. So, Spirit, what do we have for Taurus for November 20th through the 26th? And thank you guys, mucho gusto, all of the gratitude for your support. Um, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, hitting that notification bell. Those are all fantastic ways to continue to support me here. And um, Cash App PayPal links are in the description as well. If you do want to donate more directly financially, I am saving up right now to replace equipment or to invest in equipment in the first place. I really want this to be the best that it possibly can be for you guys. Um, and also, I did hit 2,500 subscribers. I'm actually a little closer to 27 right now, but... I posted a video and instructions for the contest that is going on. There are two free readings that are available. Contest starts um, very, very soon, tonight, 17th tonight here. So go take a look at the rules, enter if you'd like to. Feel free to share as well. I know that means, you know, it's harder for you guys to, to win, but um, I will have more contests, I promise you. So take a look, enjoy. So you guys have the loon. Okay, intuitive, and gosh, you guys, I. I'm excited. Eh, I'm excited. I can't wait to tell you how I was feeling in the meditation <laughs> going into this for you guys because it was very potent. Loon, speaking of intuitive. Listen to the song in your soul. Trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing. Emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude. Recognize that you are unique and that you are loved. Um, so as I was meditating for you, the intuitive piece is definitely standing out. Like there is a uh, a large component of some serious wonkiness <laughs> going on, not in a bad way, but like when you start tapping into extra sensory perceptions, especially at a large scale or expanding in ways that you haven't really been expanded before, it can feel almost terrifying. Um, so when I was tapping into for you guys and, and shuffling before, cause I get, little glimpses of cards that are coming through. Um, what I saw, first of all, in the meditation was, I don't know if you're familiar with the three phases of the moon, like you've got your, um, the two crescents that are facing outside and then the full moon in the center. The visual was these crescents were flipped around to the inside, the central moon there. And that already was a very, weird energy as if they had changed places so kind of an inverted feeling and what i felt was then that i was instead of like standing on top of the world here let's say you have a globe standing on top of the world i could feel that i was standing this direction and could feel the gravity it's like all of the controls for my body were switched so um like flight controls but left and right were flopped as well very, very disorienting, and it caused actually a bit of a panic, not my own emotion, but it um, I could feel that panic. So what I'm feeling for you guys is there is there is some expansion that's going on right now. Um, you're tapping into some gifts that are pretty serious business, okay? So you're being encouraged to take it slow. That's how I'm feeling. Like the faster that you try to move around the more disorienting it gets until you get used to these new controls right and being an earth sign you know you are earth but grounding right now is very important 
this was just, and I'm still feeling it right now. Just tap your energy right now is very, I don't even want to say otherworldly, but like, like it, it is, it is, um, it's a lot. <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. My anxiety is rather high in this moment. And like I said, I know it's not my own anxiety, but um, it's a lot. It's a lot, a lot. I'm having to ground a bit extra right now myself. So, so Spirit, what do we have for Taurus for November 20th through the 26th? And feel free, you guys, to check out your Rising Moon and Venus as well. If you're interested in love, Moon and Venus are going to give you some more insight to your interior realm and the way you connect with other people. Um, or don't. You know, it's up to you. So Seven of Wands, yeah. <laughs> um, I think that for some of you, because being in the state too is leaving you open to attack, whether that be a psychic attack, um, I mean, mostly energetic, but you're, it's like you're... Um, fresh meat is what came through like your fresh meat to some other realms right now as you're opening up and so the seven of wands here talks about protection like protecting yourself from these outside attacks forces that are meaning to harm you in this card especially this person's in a bubble so you're being encouraged to meditate to protect ground your energy protect your energy it's a very i will try to describe this more as i go along here it's very interesting i feel like gravity is pulling me in every direction <laughs> and inward at the same time it's a very it's like more than third dimensional kind of energy it's a lot a lot a lot kind of like the void where everything feels overwhelmingly small and large at the same time very familiar with this feeling i've felt it since i was a child which has been terrifying but um knowing what it is okay so ten of swords this is just something that popped through here as an additional message i feel like i feel like that's pointing to the potential severity of the attack of an, of an attack you're just being encouraged right now to be careful so there could be pain that's also being magnified as as you are being magnified if that makes sense Knight of Pentacles. So <laughs> there's a fear of expansion right now, you guys. I feel like for those of you that this is applying to, I feel like you you know exactly what in the hell I'm saying right now. Maybe you've been having, maybe you've been feeling off balance. Maybe you've been feeling like you've got vertigo, but it's just this feeling that you can't quite put your finger on. Maybe you've gone into the doctor and you're trying to express what's going on with you and they're not finding something that's wrong. Well, it's not that there's something wrong. Um, you guys are coming, those of you that this is applying to, you're coming into some psychic gifts and more spiritual existence of yourself. I, I very much feel like we have been grounding, and of course there's your card, I had a feeling it would come through. Um, we have been grounding major parts of the fifth dimension into this reality right now. And I feel like that's why the root chakra has been off. So your general energy for the week here is the King of Pentacles and the Hierophant. So the Hierophant talks about tradition. It talks about the organized religion. It talks about initiation into higher sacred principles. And this is also your card. So I feel very much like this. You guys are stepping into a power and this is the sacred power. It's not an easy one. This is not an easy um, milestone, <laughs> but it's very important and it will serve you very, very well. So King of Pentacles here is, um, is a card about distributing wealth, assimilating wealth. It can also symbolize somebody who's willing to put in the work. And what I'm feeling from this is, is your general energy is you're being encouraged to be that somebody. To put in the work here as you're being initiated into a higher sacred way of being. This is like, yeah, this is very some, some serious business, okay? It's exciting. Like, I've been in a good mood all day. I feel still good here, but I feel more like somber. I like there's a deep respect. 
for what is going on energetically right now for you guys. Can we get some clarification for, okay. <laughs> Denial, failure to accept a situation, unhealthy cycles or addictions. I feel like some of you may be struggling to accept what's going on right now too, in that regard. And you may be, some of you may be reaching out to drugs, alcohol, um, other way, other things in the material realm here to try to distract yourself from what you are feeling because it's, I mean, it is overwhelming, you guys. The only reason that I can hold it right now is because I've, I've literally done this since I can remember. And um, I, I fell out of a bunk bed when I was three years old, hit my head on a toy piano. Since all of that happened, um, every single night, this feeling and day, this feeling has, has come about. And it's caused a great deal of panic for me over the years as I've not known what's going on. But as I've learned what is going on, it's easier to hold, but it is still very uncomfortable because it's not a, th a third dimension energy. So hang in there, okay? Um, I would recommend, like, first step is accepting that something is going on that's out of your control. And to be honest with you, that was that's a large part of what was terrifying me. My biggest fear, my greatest fear in my whole life has been this feeling. Being dizzy is what I call it, because that's how I've always explained it since I was a kid. Um, but I also have had a feeling that it's coming back around and I have worked myself to get to a place where I, in small doses, give in to that feeling, especially when it comes around. So what I'm saying is I'm encouraging you to accept it. And even if there is fear or even panic to just sit in it, there is a way through and it is the way through. You won't die. I know it feels like you might like, trust me, trust me, trust me. I am holding space for you guys. Like literally I, I have a great deal of respect for this process. Um, it's not for everybody. So those of you that are going through this mad respect. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> Um, the energy that's blocked right now or that's not quite available to you, you've got the Knight of Pentacles, which is what your fear was here, and the Three of Wands. So Knight of Pentacles, I'm getting very much, again, expansion, the expansion component of this. Um, the Three of Wands here, the component that I'm getting from this is that things are not always what they seem, first of all, but also that you are on the right track. So what I'm getting from this as far as it being blocked is there's fear. Like these might as well be upside down. I just don't read, I don't pull in reverse here. So what I'm getting from this is fear. It's fear and denial. And denial is a, is a subcategory of fear. You know what I mean? There's an unwillingness to accept a situation because there's a fear. There's a reason why you don't want to accept a situation. And if you guys are feeling a, a modicum, just a, fraction of what it is that I started feeling as I was meditating for you guys and uh, am feeling currently as I'm doing this entire reading. It is terrifying. Like I said, it's very disorienting. And if you don't know what's going on, it's hard to feel safe. Just hang on. You guys are, you are being directed and you will assimilate. You will get used to what's going on here. Okay. It's a heavy one, though. I, I love you, and I'm, I'm here, okay? Be open to change. Be receptive to new experiences. Change leads to growth. So, yeah. <laughs> Surrender is what's coming to mind, too. And that's definitely been one that's been, you know, uh, one for me to, to focus on. Surrendering to that feeling is, has been hard. It's been very hard. So if you're going through this too, I can imagine that it would be difficult for you as well. But um, there was a component that also came through here with the loon. You guys may be feeling crazy or others may be calling you crazy. Like maybe you're trying to express this to your doctors or to friends because you don't know what's going on and they're either to your face or behind your back calling you crazy. And that's dumb. That's really dumb. You're not crazy. Okay. Um, just keep going. I very much feel like th 
things will change. I did see the Wheel of Fortune come through as I was shuffling for you guys too. So I have a feeling that there might be Queen of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles came through as well. There might be, well, this is a change of, of tides for you. I feel like this is very much a faded motion in your life right now, the energy that's going through. And you're the first in the earth sign, so we'll see. We'll see what happens, you know, as far as the general energy that's going on here. But so far, it's very somber, like I said. So uh, Queen of Pentacles and Six of Wands, this is the energy that you need or that is available for you to take at the same time. Queen of Pentacles is a very grounded earth energy. So I feel inclined to say exactly what I've been saying this whole time. Hang on, like hang on for dear life, whether that's you literally need to, to grab onto the ground <laughs> to remind yourself you're grounded or to imagine yourself like grow, literally, literally growing roots into the earth through your feet. That's something that's helped me a lot too. Or talking to Mother Earth, asking her for her help. Um, the elements as well and the cardinal directions came to mind. Call on them as well. This is an ancient, like, it's like a, a rite of passage, getting chills on that. I feel like activation. Some of you are being activated, right? Yeah. <laughs> you're being activated right now. And um, that's, oh, goodness. Thank you, Spirit. That is, um, that's a lot. That's a big task. So um, I'm getting from Six of Wands. Six of Wands is a homecoming. It is also success. So I feel like what is best for you to do right now is to ground, to really, really ground, because that's what you're doing, is you're, you're pulling more of your true self, really, your ethereal self, closer to this physical form. And that's going to feel bad, even. <laughs> Until you start um, getting used to that feeling, it's it's going to feel really foreign and almost threatening sometimes, okay? So grounding yourself down into that, having the mindset that this is success <laughs> may not feel like it, but you are the homecoming portion. You are coming home. Your grander self, your higher vibrational forms are are coming closer to this plane right now and there's a reason for it can we get some clarification on the queen of pentacles and the six of wands here please spirit there's a, there's a lot you guys <laughs> soulmate the divine will provide you with love when you are ready and i feel like i should pull one of these as well we can get some clarification on okay that's not uh upside down i just had the whole deck upside down here so um, two pentacles and the nine of pentacles, very much heavy, heavy, heavy pentacles. So that's very much like the material realm here, like I said, and I'm getting a note of your body. Things are shifting <laughs> with your body and what's going on from an energetic sense as well. For some of you very much with the soulmate, I feel like going through this process is maybe even something that you needed to go through before you were really able to connect with this person that you needed to connect with. It could also be, I'm just very much getting like soul home, home, soul coming home. Um, one, one thing I used to say when I was a kid, when I would go into these, these trances is what I would call it later, but my, my parents would call it sometimes is um, it's coming. It's coming. I'm not ready. It's coming. <laughs> and that was what was coming through for me when you are ready you may not be ready right this second it's coming it's coming but you will be ready so just have faith know that 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 is that is your destiny is to be ready and you will be ready okay two of pentacles talks about balance balancing i feel like this new enterprise what you are shifting into and what is going on right now and that's it's a lot like i said that motion is not a motion I, I think for most of you that you're used to feeling at all this could feel like something is very very wrong it's not and i'm not you know like Absolutely, if you feel you are the one who knows your body the best, if you feel inclined and feel you need to get into a doctor, absolutely do that. I am not replacing medical advice, okay? I'm just telling you what I'm getting here, all right? If you feel that that is the route you need to take, 
you know yourself the best, okay? But for what I'm expressing right now, if those of you that are going through this, what I'm saying is it's not a, it isn't a physical malady. It's not an ailment or something wrong with your body. It's an issue of bringing those two kinds of energy into a synergistic experience, into a similar place. You're just not used to it. It's a lot. So Nine of Pentacles talks about um, content. Contentment is what I'm getting from that. Calm and collected thought is what the bird represents there. That is what is needed right now. To ground yourself through this experience, to balance, to remain calm, to find a place of peace and, and content. Okay? You can do this, you guys. I know this is really weird. Um... I just had some interesting deja vu. I'm not, I have not experienced deja vu like that before. Being in this state, <laughs> this is very interesting. Um, one of the other things I saw in meditation, because the way I experienced that deja vu was like, I'm experiencing like three different timelines at the same time, you guys. And I don't know how else to describe that to you, but that, and had deja vu in each one of those timelines at the same time. It's the first time that's ever happened. Um, but in the meditation, what I saw as well was this like a line splitting down a screen and you were operating in two dimensions at the same time too. And having like a picture of you, um, split into very tiny vertical slits where some of them were just offset from each other. Um, so what I was getting from that is like, you guys are almost there. Like the locking is almost there and having the the two dimensions or experiences that you're existing in right now is explaining kind of the, like you've got two dimensions that are fusing into each other right now. And that's a wonky feeling. <laughs> and that's where I'm getting the, those two, those op, those moons were opposite too. It's like, um, those two experiences need to be one. And that's, what's being worked on right now. I don't know how to describe it further than that. You guys hang with me. Okay. So where this leads or what it's good for, you got the Six of Pentacles and the High Priestess. <laughs> well, High Priestess, yeah, definitely explaining a lot of this deep, deep energy here. High Priestess is the veiled portions of Isis or the Divine Feminine. She is um, tapped into the unconscious realm. Secrets are a part of what she's all about. <laughs> um, her hair is so big there because it's full of secrets. <laughs> But she's also got this book here represents like the book of knowledge. She has the book of all knowledge with her. And the high priestess doesn't always reveal their secrets. But what I'm getting from this with the six of pentacles as well, that's your give and take, your balance of give and take. What I'm getting from this is that kind of like what I'm saying with this process, what is going on for you guys, it will be revealed in time, but right now is not that time. Like what was coming through, it's coming, it's coming, I'm not ready, it's coming. Maybe some of you are feeling that way too. And there's a panic because there's something in your soul that wants to rectify or understand what is going on right now and you can't quite put <laughs> your finger on it. And um, that's disorienting. You may be feeling like no body, like no description at times is kind of how I'm feeling too. Like you're literally just floating in an experience and there's not much, like you remember who you are and the details of your name and your life and that sort of thing, but you're not connected to it anymore. And this may come in waves, but um, that's a lot. That's a lot for the ego to handle, the human ego. It will panic because it doesn't know where to, I would always explain to you, like, I don't know where I am in space and time. Not being able to figure that out can cause panic it certainly has for me over the years so um yes i feel like what's going on here is is a balancing of your of your exterior and your interior so i'm taking it like higher dimensions with lower dimensions are becoming closer to one and that's that is an intense experience you guys can i get some clarification here please spirit like you, yeah, so far Earth is, all the signs have had their own kind of themes, I've noticed, but this is, this is pretty deep. 
um, heavy, really more like it's, it's light, but it's dense at the same time. It's what I would think, what I feel like the fourth and fifth dimension start feeling like as you were trying to experience it as a third dimensional being. I would describe it when I was a kid as like things felt very close to my face, but also super far away. And I would feel super tiny, but also super huge. And it would freak me out as a like three, four, five, six year old on up till now, not being able to explain or have anybody else be able to explain to me what's going on. Try to just breathe, okay? It will, it will pass and you will get better at this. Celebration, good times come from hard work, time spent in good company. So what I'm feeling from this is, like I said, you guys are almost, it's almost locking in. Things are becoming centered again. You're being asked to focus on that balance, remain positive in what's going on. Definitely ground, get your feet in the dirt. That's something that's gonna help a lot, okay? something else in here trust your intuition yeah emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude so i feel like i feel like that might be a part of what some of you are experiencing as far as the stress or this panic is like you may be trying to push yourself into doing other things like i said whether it's like substances or um other activities but it's like you're trying to busy your time to distract from what's going on and that is just making it worse so you're being encouraged to take some time to yourself right now to collect. There's that ten of swords again. <laughs> Thanks, spirit. So this is your challenge for the week. You've got the magician and the ten of swords. Um, certainly. Absolutely, absolutely. So the magician is the master manifester. They are, uh, and this is interesting, actually, because the high priestess, so the story here in the tarot, the high priestess and the magician marry each other. And turn going from the fool to the magician high priestess and they turn into the empress and the emperor and the emperor popped through as i was shuffling a bit as well so again the note that i'm getting from that is upgrading you guys are expanding you are you are expanding <laughs> and it's a big one so um the challenge for you guys here is i feel like making that transition with both of those coming through as what's coming and what your challenge is and the ten of swords there like I said, when it popped through the first time here, it's this, your susceptibility to attack right now. Um, we're all like, like we're a lighthouse or a light, you know, in the realm of, of dark, it is dark. It is very, very dark. And we as human souls have an innate light and just stepping into that realm or stepping around that realm, we're basically like a magnet to the things that are out there. And the more that you're expanding, the higher you are ascending, the more that that light becomes more lumens, you know, you're adding to your, your package there. Like you start becoming more of a um, lighthouse, so to speak. So you're pulling things from even further away, bigger, badder enemies, so to speak. And that's what I'm getting from this with the 10 of swords there. There's that need to ground and protect, to trust that mother earth can protect you too but also being aware that you need to hold it's a tricky tricky one you guys gosh i wish that i like i'm trying so hard to to be helpful it i'm just remembering my whole history and sometimes i struggle with it too it's hard to stay in a good place remember to protect if you are feeling panic um, or ungrounded to remember to ground um, i feel inclined to so this is the mudra for protecting your energy get this one on lock like when you do start feeling uncentered and i think is he doing that symbol in here no um but it truly helps it just brings your energy back into a, a more close-knit <laughs> bubble here and protected from but not accessible to whatever else is around so highly encourage you to take advantage of that okay can we get some clarification here on the magician and ten of swords please spirit that's a big deal, you guys. It's <laughs> a big deal. Whatever it is you are, I feel like it's this one here, expanding into happiness, new discoveries that lead to celebrations, love yourself first. This is, I feel like once you get through this too, and it's a process that will take some time. I don't think it's going to be this heavy or strong this whole time. Hallelujah. Like that's, It's a lot, you guys. It's a lot, lot. I would always say like I wouldn't wish what i have experienced in my life on anybody because 
Um, sometimes it's broken me psychologically. So, um, and I hope that it's not doing that to you. I don't want, if you're watching this and going through this, I, I want you to know that this, you aren't alone uh, going through this experience. That was one thing that I truly, truly felt alone. And I'm getting emotional. I'm just thinking about it. There was not a soul that I knew who in any way understood. So what I'm getting from this is just, um, once you get through this and to just know that you're not alone here. Okay. There is at least one other person on this planet who has an understanding of what that feels like. Okay. When you get through that to the biggest degree or most of it, there's going to be some really, really wonderful things waiting for you. For those of you that the soulmate is applying to, I feel like there's new love. I feel like, um, like you will already have more love for yourself naturally going through this because it requires you to close ranks, to bring that energy and that attention back to the self because like you have to, <laughs> there's not, that's what I'm feeling like you will psychologically break. If you are trying in any way to give that energy to anybody else right now, you need all of it. And once you get through that and that feeling starts to lift and you feel a bit more comfortable with your new form, so to speak, there will be a natural increase in self-love. And that's going to automatically start bringing in love from outside as well, because that's just how it works, you guys. <laughs> so that's exciting. Um, your blessing for this week. <laughs> You've got the Fool and the Two of Pentacles. So the Fool is, a, is a, the start of a new journey. Um, one thing I is popping up about the fool that's really interesting. So the history of the tarot, like they, mm, there are some details that like they're pretty sure about, but it's not been like super well documented on where everything very concretely came from. The biggest understanding, like kings and queens, you know, used to use it as like a. They say like they were playing card games, kind of. What it was was. Um, it was not available to anybody else because they were imprinted on thin pieces of silver or gold. <laughs> so uh, there wasn't cardstock, there wasn't the printing press yet. So it couldn't be in any way mass produced or even painted at a, at a greater scale for people who had less money to be able to afford it. They were designed by artisans, but the cards themselves it is believed that they were created by the Roma people as they were traveling everywhere, because they have been everywhere. The different occult um, organizations, traditions throughout the world gave their secrets to the Roma people as they were traveling. And what they did is put all of them into a symbolic format. The Rider White Weight deck is the closest to the original because there were translations that were lost over time and symbols. But it was supposed to be meant to be a way to express thoughts and ideas to people without having to have the knowledge of all these different languages to explain it. The language was in the card. Real deep, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm getting. But the fool, the portion, the reason I'm bringing that up is because the fool is zero, but um, Ryder Wyatt brought it back to the beginning or brought it to the beginning of the major arcana there. They don't really know where it was. <laughs> Before that, they were putting it between 20 and 21, okay, near the end of, of the Major Arcana, so right before the world. Um, and then it was brought to the beginning here. What I'm saying is, <laughs> um, like, you guys are stepping into this new journey, but it's from, it's from a mystical, magical place. No one really knows where you're coming from is kind of what I'm getting from that but you you're firmly stepping into a position now landing that plane for you okay i know that was a long story but my my point is just like you maybe you have been feeling lost maybe you've like you've been stuck between <laughs> the last cards and the major arcana but you're not feeling like you belong there you're coming to a place where you do feel like you belong this is your final resting place in a good way 
um, the two pentacles is, is balance again. You have that for the energy that you need here as well. So your blessing is also that is being supported for you guys to seek balance, which is not a static activity. It is a constant um, pursuing, okay? Tweaking this, tweaking that to make sure that energies are, are in balance. This is, yeah, that's a lot to balance too, you guys. And I'm feeling the component of the fool as well is that you guys are not alone. Like on this journey, you're not alone. Call on your spirit team. God, angels, universe, Akasha, your neighbor you haven't talked to for a while. <laughs> Putting in the work. Action that helps achieve goals, building the path to success. So that path is like what you're starting here, I feel like, with the fool. The work is getting to this place of, of being firm, that grounded, being firm of where your new position is, okay? It's kind of a, it's a weird, I hope I explained that <laughs> well enough for you guys. If not, feel free to ask questions in the comments. I would love to ex explain more as much as I can. Um, so your blessing, or, or not blessing, your gratitude. This is your gratitude section here. You've got the Ace of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. So the gratitude, what I'm feeling with, if you are going through this wonky feeling, feeling unbalanced, feeling ungrounded, uh, the component of the four pentacles that's coming through is like your stability, like true stability, like feeling grounded on this earth. There's a gratitude that's coming surrounding that for you guys and your security with that, feeling safe in your own body because of what you're going through here. Like we tend to not appreciate our health until we're sick, right? Or appreciate money. I mean, that's kind of a weird one, but appreciate money until we don't have it. You don't know what you've got until it's gone kind of thing. So um, you're being illuminated here to have gratitude for that, even while you're going through this, because that will help usher in that, that stability again. Okay. And Ace of Swords here talks about um, what I'm getting from this, like kind of through the bullshit is, is the main message, but the bullshit is not you. Like you're not bullshitting you're not bullshit. <laughs> it's, um, it's the complex and potentially even frightening thoughts that are going through your mind here as this is happening, because this is super disorienting. You may feel like I said, you may feel like you're going crazy, the loon, but you're not, you don't belong in the loony bin. Okay. Um, so yes, I think that's a beautiful thing to be grateful for your sanity and your stability is what I'm feeling there. As you may be feeling like you're struggling with that self-limiting beliefs, Negative thoughts are creating a roadblock in your life. So balancing those two extremes is kind of what I'm feeling. That's like you guys are really bringing extremes into balance right now. And that's a hefty task. Make sure that you're grounding yourself. Ask for help with your team around you as needed. Okay, you guys. I love you so much, Taurus. Thank you for joining me here this week. And I hope you have a beautiful week. I am excited to hear how things progress for you. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye.